Great things are about to happen for Detroit Pistons. You're listening to Detroit Sports World Talk. Let's get to it. I had to go to the game to really see for myself. I know the Pistons have only played four games overall, but I really had to see for myself before I can make another video to like analyze what's going on with this team. I'm very passionate about it. I'm very passionate about this team. Like I've grown up being a Detroit Pistons fan and I just had to see for myself before I can like really put something out there. And seeing that and going to the Knicks game, and you know, I, I honestly can say, you know, out of the four teams that we've gone against, the Knicks, Toronto being a better team, but the Knicks, probably, a, you know, maybe a, a playoff team, maybe a playoff team, worth going to see. And I wanted to see what the chemistry that the Pistons had with the newcomers and all the pieces that they put together in the off season. And I love it. I love it. And with being with Reggie Jackson being out, we don't lose much, but Reggie is our offense. Reggie is our leader. We need Reggie back. Yes. Hands down. Yes. But with Ish Smith running that offense and leading our team, I love it. And you know what? We kind of don't miss a beat. Like we got other guys stepping up like, Contavious Caldwell Pope. This guy had 19 points tonight, and he he's coming along great. We had guys like Tobias Harris, which he's probably our most consistent player on our team, and then Marcus Morris, who's probably our ride or die player, our leader on our team, hands down. I love what I'm seeing right now. I love what Detroit is doing. <clears throat> I see us going somewhere with this team. I see us going. I see us being a playoff contender. I love our bench. We had bench support tonight, which that's really what I wanted to see tonight. Like I wanted to see what our our second group could do coming in and not losing much from our starters. And we did great. I love what I saw tonight. Like everybody came in and contributed. But some things I really wanted to focus on was like, hey, Tobias had 25 points tonight. Marcus Morris had 22 points tonight. And you know what? He's a battler. Like, if you look at the game against the Knicks tonight, Marcus Morris took the matchup with Carmelo Anthony very personal. Very personal. And that was awesome. Like, he accepted that challenge. He won that challenge. And you know what? They went back and forth. Back and forth. And it was great. It was great to see... Um, but, you, you know, you kind of want to see that, you, you you know, and other players, you know, kind of want to follow suit on that, too. Like, and that was great to see how everybody just kind of follows suit and and just dominated. Like, that was awesome. And then, you know, Ish, getting everybody involved. I like, you know, he's not a Reggie Jackson, but you know what? He's a guy that comes in and gets everybody involved. And he can get his shot in, too. And like, you, he's becoming more comfortable getting his shot off and being a playmaker for this team and not just getting everybody involved. Like, I like that because that's something that Reggie can do. Reggie can do it, you know, on the defensive side. He can do it on the offensive side and he can get everybody else involved. And I'm liking what Ish can do. You know, hey, he's a, he might be undersized, maybe six feet tall, maybe 5'11". But you know what? He came in and, you know, he didn't even back down from Derrick Rose tonight. I know Derrick Rose kind of went off and had 19 points tonight, but it was kind of like a quiet 19 points. I love what I'm seeing. Drummond, he had a decent game tonight. We know what Drummond can do. Drummond, 13 points, 9. I'm sorry, 9 points, 13 rebounds. But you know what? We know what Drummond can do. I mean, this other night against the Bucks, he had 20 points, 23 rebounds. So, you know, I'm not going to get on, you know, good on him. But you know what? The main thing that I'm really, like, concerned about with this team is, like, our future player, Stanley Johnson. Stanley Johnson is supposed to be like that dude that stepped up this year from his rookie season and really gotten off to a good start. He's only averaging like one point. And you know what? Like he's doing it good on the defensive side, but you have you, he's not confident. <clears throat> you can tell he's not confident at all in his game. He's only, I, I know he's only averaging like 15 minutes per, of a game right now, but he's not aggressive at all. At all. He's not attacking the basket. He's, you know, committing fouls. And I don't know whether or not it's a confidence thing with him. But you know what? We know what Stanley Johnson can do. We, we've seen his workouts. We've seen what he can, he can do 
all season long. And he just needs to go out there and just play his game. Play his game like he knows how to do it. And we know he can ball. But you know what? We haven't seen that. And he's supposed to be that six man off the bench, if not come in and start. And we haven't seen that yet. And so I think that Stanley Johnson might be that missing key, maybe even to it. And, and I'll say this, to a championship run. But until then, do I really see the Pistons making to the... Uh, you know, a championship run right now, not really. I'm not saying that they can't with the team. Yes, the team that they have now, yes. I'm not saying that they, they'll go. I'm just saying that they can contend and do great things down the road and maybe get down there and, you know, you never know. With basketball, it's all about matchups. It's all about, you know, who does what. But you never know. But you know what? I know this. I know the Pistons are going to do great things this year. I love the Pistons. I love what I saw tonight. I had a great time tonight, too. Thank you for following me. This is Detroit Sports World Talk. Thank you. Have a good one. You can also follow me on Twitter, DET Sports World. That's DET Sports World. Thank you.